guys, I'm back and today I'm going to be speaking about a topic or a subject that is really popular everywhere in the world and it has to do with um, horoscopes, you know, stuff like that. Um, some of us are still involved in that stuff and some of us are not. Like I used to not be into horoscopes but I used to be like, oh what's that? Let me try and find out what's my horoscope today, what's my reading for today, right? I used to do that because it was kind of like exciting at the time, you know, and I didn't know that it was not good. So, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, just let people know that all that sort of thing, all those things that have to do with, like, whenever we're searching for answers to our lives and, and any kind of a word, quote-unquote word, in, outside of the Lord, um, that has to do with things that don't have nothing to do with Him, like, like the horoscopes, tea leaf reading, um, astro uh, astrology, is there? Ast yeah, astrology, um, people reading your palms, you know, um, what else, just all kinds of things, you know, like people, I've, I've, I've seen people, you know, like, you know, just from watching like shows and documentaries where someone will have a cup and they'll have chicken bones in there and I think they'll like shake them or something and then they'll throw them out and depending on which way they land they supposedly read something to do with that person so all that stuff guys it's demonic right and God is so clear about that stuff in the Bible he tells us have nothing to do with people that claim to speak to the dead because like they call spiritists right you know some of us know um, the term spiritist or or like um, so some people are known also as uh, witch doctors, you know, stuff like those are the terms, right? But anyway, yeah, we, we, we cannot be messing with that sort of thing because whenever we're trying to find out anything about our lives, you know, that's not to do with God. Like, for example, I've been giving you guys, um, like a, 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 some people have been giving you guys like these links, right? And they're for, it's, a, it's from prophetic ministry right that those people are from God those those people are called by God and they're working directly from God and God is working through them to give prophetic words God's telling people um, giving messages to these prophets okay about the lives of the people that are seeking um, their help that's different but when we start seeking the help of you know tarot cards like you know tarot cards right like people will have like like those playing cards, right? But they have pictures on them, right? They have, they'll have pictures on them, and they each of them have a different meaning, right? That's like supposedly a different meaning, right? So all that kind of stuff, we cannot mess with that stuff. And some 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 people think it's just innocent, you know? We can we will buy the newspaper or we'll just look at the back of a magazine, and it'll show the horoscope. Like, for example, whatever month you're born in, you will look at your month and then the, your, your horoscope reading will be for whatever month or for whatever or for the day. And then it'll tell you something about, like, supposedly about who you are and it's supposed to relate to you for those people who were born under that, um, that month. That's all demonic, right? Because again, the, the Lord says, don't speak to people who, who are called spiritists because spiritists, these people are getting their information from the devil. So people who are writing horoscopes and posting them in magazines and, 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 and on television, anywhere, they're getting their information from the enemy, right? And when we get our information from the enemy, we are absorbing that stuff and it comes inside of us and we, we, we become a part of the devil, okay? I've had, a, you know, experiences where like, before I knew better, Right before I, I knew better, and like years ago, I used to look at the horoscopes. You know, one time, a friend and I, years ago, we went to this psychic, right? And we had no idea because we weren't like we weren't right with God. We believed in Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit. We didn't read our Bibles. We didn't go to church, but we believed in Jesus. And going to a psychic was was okay, and it wasn't okay. So, anyway, this friend of mine introduced me to the psychic, right? She's like, oh, you know, I, I, I know this psychic. So, she said that her cousin went to the psychic, and then 
the cousin gave her the phone number and then she told me about it and you know what I'm saying like it just it spreads so then anyway we went to the psychic she gave us these readings okay and shortly after her and I my, my friend and I we started experiencing demonic activity in our houses right and that's what that's what happened right because when you go to the home of a psychic or even if you just go to a park and there's going to be a psychic reading whatever that person is speaking to you is also going inside your body it's going into your soul and you're going to take it home with you and it travels with you everywhere you go and until you understand what's happened it's going to continue to harass you you can, you will not be able to sleep you get night terrors all kinds of terrible things and you get sick I never got sick, my friend never got sick, but those are the, you know, that comes along whenever we, we, we you know, it's like you're joining yourself with, with this, the devil, right? You're going to get all kinds of off, awful things happening to you. You can get a disease, you can die outside through an accident, somebody can kill you, or um, like all kinds of bad luck happens to people, right? And then, you know, my friend, we were calling each other up and we were telling each other what's going on. And, and she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing all these horrible things at night time. I can't sleep. And I'm seeing these, these dark shadows flying all around my room like she's half asleep. And, you know, you can see it. And I said, you know what? We've got to get rid of these. Because uh, we, we were also given tapes. We recorded our readings. And every time we play these things, more demons would come into our homes. And we weren't aware of that. So, yeah. So, anyway, we, we got rid of these. Like, we, we, you know, she called me up one day and she's telling me all this stuff. And then I told I told her, you know what, we've got to get rid of this stuff. You know, so her she called up her cousin. <laughs> I don't remember if she told me that her cousin was going through the same thing, but her cousin ended up destroying his tape. She she destroyed her tape and I threw mine out. Right? And then this the the, the, the activities stopped. Right? But anyway, so that's how serious it is. When we when we go to psychics, okay, we give permission for the enemy to enter into our lives and do whatever he wants. Right? And God's not going to stick his finger in to help us because we knew what we were doing. Now, he's still protecting us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he's still... In, a, in, a, in another video, I explained how when God sees that a person, you know, even if they're not living right for a long time or for however many years, but he sees that there's going to be a moment in time when they will turn from this world and go to him. He will let He will protect you and let you live just so that... You will see that day when you will turn from this world and go to him. And then, you know, your life will be made right. But, yeah. But for people who who refuse to, like, turn from, you know, worldly ways, eventually God lifts his hand of protection off of that person or off of us. And we're open to attack, right? And then that's, people die and they end up in hell, unfortunately. But anyway, yeah, so the seriousness of, of like, you know, reading horoscopes. Yeah, because I said earlier... We think it's so innocent, but it's not. You know, you're going to open up your magazine or, 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 or your, your, some people are probably getting daily or monthly um, messages in their inbox from psychics, right? Oh, this is your daily reading, or this is your monthly reading, or this is your yearly reading, right? And they're getting this stuff all the time. But they don't, they don't understand that every time they read it, more darkness, they, they, more darkness goes into their, in their souls in their environment and they take it wherever they go but they they go where if, if i were to like if i was still messing around with that stuff if i leave my house those things come with me right if i go into somebody's home they're there with me right and back into the house and people are so like they're so naive they're like no what, you, what is she talking about or what is he talking about how can it's it's just like it's just a little tiny article about what's going on in my life for today. How can that be harmful? It's harmful, guys. And God is so clear in the Bible. Stay away from that stuff. And also, he says that when we mess around with that stuff, okay, because we allow the devil to come inhabit in us, he will have nothing to do with us. Okay, We're, we are violating his holy temple. Okay, because the Holy Spirit is living in us. And we are violating his home. Right, and that's we can't be joining ourselves with filth, right, with the Holy Spirit in us. We can't do that. So, yeah, and I just, I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, just understand. Maybe like for because there are some 
Christians who are watching this right now, and I say Christians because you guys claim that you're, you know, you believe in Jesus, but you, you live like the devil. I'm sorry, but you guys do. Some of you guys do. You live like the devil. Okay, and all kinds of swear words come out of your mouths. There's a lot of, I've you got look, I've seen vulgarity in some of the stuff that comes in my news feed. Right? What, there will be, like for example, there will be a post that will say, Oh, praise Jesus, we're, we're so, you know, we love the Lord so much and thank God, you know, He's, he's amazing and, and without Him we would be nothing. And then the next post will be F, F, F this, F word, F word, and, and, kiss my you know what and you know what I'm saying how, how does that like the, the Lord Jesus says what does darkness or what does light have to do with darkness nothing so I don't understand why some of you guys who claim to be Christians you know you live your lives where you join yourselves with the filth of the world and then you, and then you have these Christian postings it doesn't make any sense it, it does it just says that you are not living right for Christ okay you're not Right? Because the Lord Jesus Christ says in the Bible, you shall know them by their fruits, right? So if you're gonna if people are gonna be claiming to be Christian, but you know, the, the based on the stuff that you guys are well some of you guys are, are posting that everybody else is seeing, then how how can that how can it be? How can it prove like what am I trying to say? Like you, you can't represent yourself as a a Christian and be posting this stuff, but it, it tells you right there, you are not a Christian, right? You're not, because real Christians are living right for Christ, okay? And nobody's perfect, right? I'm not perfect either, but it, it doesn't, I mean, somebody else doesn't have to tell you that the Lord Jesus Christ and all the filth that some of you guys are posting, they don't go together, right? They just don't go together. I mean, like, are you going to walk into a church, for you guys who claim are Christians, are you going to walk into a church with, with a with one of those those postings that you guys do sometimes, some of you guys, like, post it on your shirt and walk into a church like that? Well, why not? You're a Christian, right? Wouldn't that make any sense? You see how crazy, that, how stupid that sounds? Like, you can't be Christian in church, be all nice and, you know, oh, praise the Lord Jesus. We've got to be good in here. And then when you walk outside, you start spewing all kinds of F words and gossiping about people. Because... Because that kind of mentality also has, there's also gossip in that kind of mentality. You know? So, some of you guys might be mad at me. But, sorry, I'm not concerned about you being mad at me. I'm only doing what the Lord wants me to do, and that's to tell the truth. Okay? We all hate it when we're told the truth because the truth hurts. You know, guys, when the doctors, like, you know, when we were little kids and we were getting immunization, right? It's going to hurt, but it's good for us, right? Yeah, so it's the same thing, right? What I'm telling you guys, it's good for you, even though you may not, like, enjoy what I'm saying or believe in it, right? Believing, not believing in it doesn't change the facts. Like, it hurts, but what I'm telling you is good for you. Yeah, so that's my message, right? Just... Stay away, well, I'm not telling you to stay away, but I'm just, you know, I'm just expressing, like, stay away from the stuff that keeps you full of darkness, because people that are Christians, although you want to be genuine about, you know, being, you know, living for the Lord, but then you wonder why your life isn't going the right way. God is not going to bless us when we're, when we're living like the devil in our minds and in, in our speech. He's not going to do it. Are you going to, are you, are you guys going to, like for you guys who have kids or, or you know, like nephews or whatever, you know, are, are you going to reward a disobedient, a willfully disobedient child? Are you going to do that? Well, of course not. Because you don't want to, you don't want to like instill in them that their behavior is correct and then grow up and be wayward and go off to jail, <laughs> you know, because that's what happens. So that is the exact same thing. You know, we, 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 God put in us the will to do, you know, to, to, to choose to do right or wrong. And we understand from the way, what we, what is written in the Bible and through Bible studies, what is right and what is wrong. You know, so, yeah. And also, years ago, I used to watch 
horror movies. I used to love horror movies a long time ago. Don't watch them anymore. The horror movies, they're a doorway into your home. You turn on that TV, okay, and start watching horror movies, anything like like zombie movies, you know, uh, stuff like that, ghost movies. There are shows now that, I, I forget what it, ghost, what are they called? Ghost hunters or whatever, okay? That right there, those people have no idea what they're messing with. They, they think they're dealing with dead people, but they're not. They're dealing with demons, right? So when we watch those kind of shows, I don't watch those shows. They come into our homes, right? And then all kinds of havoc start, starts happening. And you guys who watch these kind of shows, like sometimes strange things happen in your homes and if you don't get strange things happening in your homes the devil will manifest himself in some way whether it's a sickness or a person who is harassing you or a group of people there is something that is going on in your lives right now that you do not you don't understand why it is all because of what you're watching and also what we hear has to also matter if you're listening to songs that's like uh, glorifying the enemy right that's going to bring evil spirits into your house too. Let me tell you what happened one time. This was last year, I think. I was sitting down, you know, I was sitting on the, in the, on the sofa watching something. Oh, I was watching, I was watching one of those, uh, you know, those airport shows, you know, like where there are, you know, those new airport shows where the camera will, will show customs agents dealing with, you know, passengers coming and going, right? And there was, um, so anyway, there was this one lady, um, and she brought, she was being, like looked at, they opened up her, her, her luggage and she had all this stuff in there. She had these like like these strange instruments, you know, like it's like like a piece of wood with feathers at the end of it and some some of the other instruments had like like um like a, a wood with a, what's it called again? I forget what the thing is called. It's got like um a piece of wood with a ball at the top and inside there's like a sh you know you can shake it. I forget what maraca? I forget what it's called anyway. So she had all these things, right? And the customs agent was asking her, what are these things for? And she, she I don't exactly remember her exact words, it was a long time ago, but she says that she basically explained that these are things to ward off evil spirits. Okay, so I said, oh no, here we go. So the customs agent actually picked it up, one of those instruments up, and he started shaking it, right? And then right away I had to say, in Jesus' name, get out, because those things came into my room. Now, I wasn't, I mean, into the living room. Now, I wasn't intending on watching. That was just like an inadvertently, they just, I didn't know this lady was going to be, you know, they were going to pull out a lady, uh, to, um, choose a lady who had all this stuff in her luggage. And anyway, and, and, and then I had to like cast the devil off, right? And so anyway, there was another time I was watching, I forget which show it was, but, you know, a good show. And then suddenly this commercial came on. It was just sudden commercial, like a, a demonic commercial. And I'm like, whoa. Let me tell you something. The moment that commercial came on, I saw a demon come out of the step out of the TV. It walked across the room and I was just looking at it. It sat about two and a half feet away from me. And I looked over to it. It didn't look at me. It was watching the TV. I looked over to it and I said, in Jesus name, get up. And it disappeared. Right? So that's how serious it is. I mean, you don't have to be able to see demons in order for, for these things, in order for you to know whether they're, you know, being invited into the home. You know, and so it's, it's just like they will come. It was just a commercial. It was just sudden like that. And that thing just walked into the, into the bedroom. I saw it step out of the TV and walk across the room and sit next to me. You know, and it was it was tall and thin and like kind of like that, you know. Really, anyway. So, oh yeah, I've had a lot of experiences with those kinds of things, guys, because of the stuff that I was involved with a long time ago. But I got that I got you know I got right with Christ. I got right with Christ in January of 2013. Right, so I don't mess with that stuff anymore. Now, when you become born again, right? For me, well, you, the attacks become worse. Like you, you, you're, you're gonna have attacks for the rest of your life. There are there are moments when there's there are gonna be seasons when when the attacks are gonna be really intense, really really bad, and then it's gonna die down, it's gonna stop, and then it's gonna come again because the devil will always bother you. If you're not being bothered, you're in a lot of trouble, because the devil doesn't bother people who are not um, with the Lord. They're already lost. 
Okay, they're already lost. They see that the Lord Jesus is not in their hearts. So they leave them alone. Because if that person dies at that moment, unfortunately, they go to hell. That's why the devil only bothers people that are, are walking for the Lord, right? Who are living for the Lord. So anyway, so I'm just, you know, telling you guys, like, the Lord has a way of communicating things to, to people that he wants to reach who are messed with cer messing with certain things. Like right now he's having me speak to you guys about the dangers of this, of, of, of horoscopes and astro astrology and reading, you know, tarot cards and, and po reading your poems and all kinds of stuff that is invented to supposedly give you a reading for your life. It's very dangerous, okay? People that's, they, people can't sleep, you know? By the way, by the way, for you guys who cannot sleep at night, read your Bible. Read your Bible in the morning before you step out of bed or, you know, when you're just sitting there or, you know, before you leave your room. Read, read, okay? Read like a few verses and you'll be okay, right? Before you take a nap, read your Bible because the enemy will get you even when you're taking a nap. Okay, before you go to sleep at night, read your Bible. And in the middle of the night, ever find yourselves waking up for no apparent reason? That's the Holy Spirit. He's waking you up because He wants to arm you with His Word. And you have to open up your Bible and just read. You don't have to read like a whole chapter. But if, if you're alert enough to read a whole chapter, then do it. But read a few verses. Like whenever, like the Holy Spirit's been waking me up every single night. He, he, he alternates. Sometimes it's Lately, it's been like 4.30 in the morning. Um, then he'll go to like 2 o'clock in the morning, sometimes 3. Last night, he woke me up at about 1 in the morning. So I will read. And during the times when, when I'm like, oh, Lord, you know, he'll wake me up. I'm like, oh, Lord, I'm so tired. Can I just, let me just doze off and I'll wake up again, right? And I won't wake up and then I'll get attacked. Like, a, you know, demon will attack me, right? So then I'll wake up and I'll read. So it's just a matter of discipline, right? But... Yeah, I, I always read. <laughs> but anyway, so, yeah, that, that's, that's my message, you guys. And um, I hope you heed it, which means to listen. For some of you who don't know what heed means. Um, yeah, just, you know, because I know what I've, what I've been through. You guys, so for, for those of you guys who have been through it, you understand, right? I know what, I, what I'm saying because I've been through it. I'm not going to talk about something that I've not been through. And I've been through a lot of this stuff, growing up and all that, you know, we, before. Like, I've always believed in the Lord Jesus, but being raised in the Catholic Church, they don't teach you to read your Bible. They don't teach you to read your Bible. Nothing. There are people out there who still go to Latin Masses. They sit there. And I, and I have to wonder, you know, I have to ask, you know, what does a person going to a Latin Mass, what are they taking in if they don't understand a word they're listening to? A word, a word they're hearing. Well, what are you taking in? It's like going into a Pentecostal church or, or any kind of a uh, denomination church and they're speaking in a different language. Are you going to get fed that day? No, because you don't understand a word you're saying. They're saying, right? So, you know, I mean, I love the Catholic religion because it, they, they, they were the ones who introduced me to the living God. You know, my, my parents were Catholic. We came from a, a Catholic continent. South America, Ecuador, okay, everybody's Catholic over there, so that's why we strongly believe in the Lord Jesus, but there are also a lot of, there's a lot of idol worship, there's a lot of just whole, oof, a lot of really twisted, backwards, just not good about the Catholic religion. There's a lot of good, but there's also a lot of bad. It keeps people oppressed, okay, but anyway, I'm still grateful to them. I'm still grateful to them because they were the ones that taught me the Lord Jesus is the only living God and the Holy Spirit and the God the Father. All right? And uh, what else? You know, so for, for you guys, I'm, I'm just stressing for you guys who are, you know, Christians and, and don't believe a word I'm saying about the horoscopes and all that stuff, then I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, just please understand what you're getting into, what you are involved in is very dangerous. And the Lord is very patient but the Lord does run out of patience he, he runs out of patience because he, he tells us you know he gives us opportunity he gives us ample time to turn from what we're doing that is wrong that is hurting him you know it's really hurting him it, it agonizes him 
Do you know that the Lord Jesus cries whenever he sees somebody tumbling down to hell? I've seen him cry. I've seen the Lord Jesus cry. Okay? I was listening to a song one time. And the song was talking about um, Aaron Schuster. Is that his name? Aaron Schuster leaving Eden. The singer's name is Aaron Schuster. And the name of the song is called Leaving Eden. I was just sitting there listening to the song one day. And all of a sudden the Lord Jesus, I, I, he showed me himself. And, and I saw him crying. And he communicated to me that he's crying because... He, he understands that there are going to be many people who are not going to make it into heaven. Right? And more people are going to end up down there than are going to end up up there. Okay? That's why he was crying. And he doesn't condemn anybody. Remember, he, he said that he came to this world, so, you know, not to condemn us, but that we may have life and have it more abundantly, right? So that that's why... Um, it, it pains him, guys. It really, really pains him to see us living the wrong way. And if, and if we don't, like, smarten up and let him show us what we're doing wrong so that we can turn from what we're doing and, and just stay with him, you know, we end up down there and that really hurts him. Yeah. So I think leave, leaving Eden is talking about, you know, leaving this world. We're leaving this world behind and sticking with the Lord Jesus, right? And so that's why the Lord showed me himself, Brian. By the way... Did you guys know that the Lord Jesus is muscular? Before he showed me himself, I, I had an idea that like, okay, you know, oh, oh, the phone, my mother will get it. Um, like, you know, the images that we see of the Lord Jesus on TV, on, in the pictures, like a tall guy, he is tall. He's tall. I know that, I've seen that. And skinny, 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 right? He's not skinny, he's muscular. Guys, he's muscular. He's strong. Well, he, he is strong because he's God, but he's a muscular man. You know, so guys, remember that. We don't serve a, a skinny, floppy God. We serve a muscular God. You know, he's got muscles. Amen. And you know what else, guys? Um... <laughs> I just saw him laughing, Lord Jesus. So yeah, I love you too, Lord. I just heard him say I love you. And he loves you too. He loves you guys too. He loves you unbelievers, the ones who don't believe in Jesus Christ. He beloves, um, he beloves, he loves those who are kind of like in the world and part out of the world. He loves those ones too, neither hot nor cold. <laughs> And he loves those, of course, of course, who are also his, his believers. He loves everyone the same because he created everyone. You know, parents love their children. We, he's our parent, right? So he loves us more than any parent can love their child. That's why he's telling me to tell you guys, please stay away from horoscopes and psychics and, and all that kind of stuff, all right? Stop doing it. Okay? And you will see how your lives will change. I, I know someone who told me that he had this scarf. And he said that ever since someone gave it to him, he said that nothing, ba nothing but bad luck was happening to him. You know? And I didn't want to get into stuff because he doesn't believe in Jesus, but I already knew that wherever that scarf came from, it came from a person who was either involved in demonic stuff or a store that is involved with demonic stuff, right? Or it not it didn't like necessarily have to come from either, but something happened, you know, at the at, at the point which before he was received it, where something was instilled was was placed inside that scarf because demons they travel in your body and they travel in inanimate objects. Right? So, sometimes ladies can't get pregnant. Because there's, there are objects in there, in their homes. There are objects in their homes that have demons in them. Be very careful about what you receive. Okay, or when you receive gifts, you just... And the thing is, I never thought of this before, right? Because whenever I receive a gift, I never thought of like, you know, you know kind of casting things out just in case. I'm going to start doing that. Yeah, to just... Sorry about that. My camera just stopped recording all of a sudden again. 
I don't know what's going on. But um, if it's not a technical matter, then it's got to be the enemy because the enemy does that. He will, he will, he likes to mess around with with Christians who are trying to, you know, who, who are living for the Lord and 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 um, you know, right now I'm giving you guys a message about staying away from him and those, you know, like um, psychics and stuff, right? My camera just went off. It could have been him. I don't know. But uh, anyway, yeah. So, uh, oops. I feel like my hair. Sometimes I kind of back up too much, and my hair kind of rubs on the on on this thing here, this um, curtain. It's gonna ruin my hairstyle. Anyway, so I think I'm might finished right now. Um, yeah. Um, the Lord Jesus wants you to please stay away from that stuff. Otherwise, you're gonna end up in hell. Okay? I'm serious, guys. I was going to end up in hell unless I turned from my worldly ways and asked him one day, you know, Lord, am I living my life right? And then from there, I, I turned my life around. He showed me I wasn't living my life right, and I turned my life around. Not specifically because of the demonic stuff, no. Because I had left that stuff a long time ago. But what my point is, unless we ask him to show us, what are we doing wrong? And he does show you. He'll show you. He will show you. And when he answers you, then you will see, and he will prove it to you, because he will show you something that you're involved with, involved in, right? And then he'll want you to, when he shows it to you, he'll want you to stay away from it, cut it out, right? Cut it out, and then get right with him. Get right with him. Okay, guys, um, this was my message, and I hope you guys will listen. Okay. Okay. Bye.